Hello and welcome back to my series where I make things from my pixel skyblock in vanilla minecraft and today I have yet another item for you, yet another working item for you and it is an item I have not made before, obviously. Today I am going to show you the dreadlord sword and the dreadlord sword is not really that good of a sword in hypixel skyblock but it has a very cool ability, at least in my opinion. And I kind of feel like they wither while using it. So I really, really wanted to make this sword. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of commands you have to do. So I am going to take you through that any moment now. But first, I just want to make some small disclaimers. First, if you want to suggest an item, I will not accept suggestions from the comment section unless they're also in my discord server and you can type your suggestions in my discord server so please do that it makes it so much more easy for me also this item i haven't tested it in multiplayer but just beware that there might be some bugs if you try to use it in multiplayer also last but not least a thing that a lot of people get wrong is they try to right click with the ability that will do nothing so you have to tap q to activate the dreadlord sword and also if you want to understand the commands properly you should probably watch all of the video feel free to pause at any time because there's probably gonna be a lot to take in but i'm going to try to make it as easy as possible also big thanks to error underscore 422 on youtube he is very good with commands but let me just show you what the dreadlord sword looks like now here is what the dreadlord sword looks like it is very clean it doesn't have any enchantments reforges or anything like that uh that's just my preference that i like to have it clean but if you want me to have it with enchantments please let me know in the comment section but anyways when you tap q and fire the ability it should look like this uh kind of lagged because i have others but they fire and hit the ground and if we have for example a pig down here we can see that he is gonna take damage and the damage isn't that great but i thought that would be kind of more balanced if you want to have it on in for example your survival world also, yes, I am fixing the hole because I find it so annoying that there's holes here. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain to you how you get the Dreadlord Sword for yourself. Go to the link in the description. There should be a link to a Google Drive document there. Tap the link and then you will see a lot of text. You can see at the top it should say get the Dreadlord Sword. Now copy that command and go into Minecraft. Then do the command slash give, then your own player name, and then type command underscore block and tap enter. Now you should see this orange block pop up in your inventory. You can place it down and copy the command into here. And if you do that correctly, it should look like this. Very, very simple. Now we tap done, and then you get a button or a lever or something. Then place it on the command block and push the button and now you should get the sword in your inventory however the sword does not work at this time and that is because you need all of this other stuff to make it work but before we go on to that you can probably see that there is four commands before that that is labeled as pre-commands and what that basically does is you just have to type them in chat one time for the whole system to work so now i am going to take you through that and basically what you do now you just paste every single one of these into the minecraft chat so copy them one by one and paste them into the minecraft chat using Control and v and the first one should look like this the second one should look like this the third one should look like this and this fourth and last one should look like this so now you've done that then you are yet one step closer to the dreadlord as you may have seen i have labeled all these command blocks with one number each that is because in the command file you can see that it says command one and then it there's a command beneath it and what that means is that you have to get 
the command that is labeled one in command block one, the one that's labeled two should go in command block two and so on. And first, let me show you what numbers each command block are. So just look at this picture, you can see this is one and there's a nine high tower. So build that using command blocks right now. So you can build a tower nine blocks tall and then another one on the side that is four blocks tall, just like this. So now take command one, put it in at the bottom and then do that all the way up to command nine at the top here. Then do 10, 11, 12 and 13 here. Also, when you build the tower, make sure that these arrows are pointing upwards. So when you've pasted every single command in, into their correct command block, it should look like this. Commands in every single one of these blocks. And if you want, I can stand here for a moment so you can write down which number goes to which command block. So just screenshot this and just make sure that you get every single command into the correct command block because if you do not it will probably not work okay so now there's just one step left after you've pasted every single one into the correct command block you can see that all of these are orange while all of these are green or purple and that is because we have to edit the command block settings or i like to, to call them settings at least so you can see here it says impulse unconditional needs redstone but it should be at repeat unconditional always active. You can see in the text document, it says which setting every command should be at. So now just copy from the text document into the command block settings. And if you do every setting so that they are correct, it should look like this with these five purple at the bottom and then eight green over here. And do make sure that this one is on unconditional because it is really really easy to miss but it is very important that this one is on unconditional okay and although it is kind of funny if you accidentally put this one on conditional because then the ability will look like this so now i'm just gonna destroy these over here they're gone and now i can show you that all these here that I just showed you the entire process of me making them. When I now tap Q, that really works just fine. And if your chat looks like this when using the ability, you can fix that by simply typing slash game rule command block output false and no longer will any text appear to obfuscate the chat. Thank you for watching this video, it might have been a little confusing as I am a little tired and I maybe didn't speak too well, but I hope you understand and if you have any questions feel free to either ask them in the comment section, I read all the comments, or you can just join my discord server and ask me there, and I will gladly help you. But until next time, have a great time, see ya!